Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabolski. Well, heading into game number four, these two teams are certainly very familiar with one another. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Moves the puck across to Zuccarello. Moves into the slot. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Puck grab by Crew. Great reach with the stick by Eriksson Ek. Fires it into the offensive zone. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Now he takes it over the line. Strong defensive effort. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. Finnington's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in, and that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. Uh, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He clubbed that one. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. Felino's got it through the neutral zone. And he takes the feed. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, stick save for the butte. I really like the save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And he had the answer on that one. And he slides it quickly to Johansson. He got all of that one. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Gives it right back. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. The Blues carried along the wall. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Krug stick handling in his own zone. Pass across to Sundqvist. Shot! Turns it aside with the glove. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We're still scoreless. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. Feeds the puck over to Zuccarello. Moves it to Brodeen. Oh, what a stick save! Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Solid check to slow him down. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Makes the club stop. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Erickson X won the draw here in the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Zuccarello. Here's a chance. Oh, what a save of the play. Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Clutch there. Well, he really did. Uh, anytime that you're 
one on one. You gotta beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Minnesota's gonna start with the puck in their own end. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Into the offensive end now. Quick feed to Erickson Eck. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Bennington. Here in the back half of this period, still scoreless in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Shen. That knocks him off the puck. Solid body contact. And he takes the pass. Minnesota's looking to break out. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Quick pass to Blay. Gets the puck in deep. Scrum along the boards. And he coughs it up for the pass. Makes his presence known on the ice. Sets it out front. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. And now he moves it to Scandella. Puts it on that. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Gustafson. Here's a short pass to Blay. Takes the feed. Got eyes him on the play. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Hartman. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. With possession along the wall. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Lewis stays out. He got a piece of that one. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Takes it off. Look out. And that goes off. Pours off a body. And it's a quick pass to Letty. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Erickson Eck. Minnesota's got the puck at the defensive end. Slides it across, all alone! Dangles between his legs! And then got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Minnesota's on the attack. Trying to make a move and the puck hops away. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Oh, what a close save by Bennington! Getting into the later stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Lettieri's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Moves it to Spurgeon. Hammers it on that! Stay with us. 
The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. And play has resumed here in period number two. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Well, James, this has been a really fast game. It's got a ton of pace, but the goaltenders have been excellent in this one. Back and forth action, making a number of saves. You've got to expect that it's going to blow open soon if this continues. I'm surprised it's only 1-0. Moves the puck into the attacking area. The Blues have it now. With some open space at center. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Scooped up along the wall by Brodeen. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Quick feed down low. Takes the pass. St. Louis gains the zone and on the attack. Turned aside by the goaltender. Gustafson's got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head and focus in the game. Minnesota's really put the pressure on here offensively and they lead in the second. Takes the feed. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Brodeen's taking it from his own end. Unable to reach that one. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Close feet so fast and just taken down. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Minnesota's looking to break out. Off the left wing and into center. Moves it around along the half wall. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. And now he tries to get it across to Hayes. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Denies him again. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And he slides it quickly to Sundqvist. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. Oh, and another big save. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick feed to Polino. And he runs the post. Minnesota's trying to push the play and extend their lead here, but they're unable to do it. Puck luck doesn't go their way, and they hit the frame and out. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Off a stick and they can't connect. The Blues played along the boards. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Here's a shot. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift is critical. Well, the shooter shows good patience on this shot, James, just waiting for the goaltender to drop. Once he does it, he drops into that butterfly position. There's enough for him upstairs to be able to beat him. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Merrill's going to play it against the half wall. Doesn't reach the net. Slides it on over to Walker. Shot! Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Puck sent over to Pareko. Shot! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Here he is, shot in front. Turns another aside. From behind the net, looks to break out. Quick pass to Torchenko. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Here we go. Hot man rush here. Oh, and a little sliver of it, and it stays out. You know the goalie's dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Moves the pass and oh, scores! What an opportunity and delivers. But here, coach is preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means 
you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Past the halfway mark of this period, St. Louis has been the better team these last few minutes and could be poised to add to that one goal lead. Minnesota's got him along the wall. Centering feed! Can't connect the play. And he slides it quickly to Shen. Takes the shot, and that's blocked away. Works it across to Lettieri. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Falk. Thomas plays the puck. And that one's turned aside. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Wild have possession along the boards. Into the corner now. From the slot, wrist shot, close save. Quick reflexes. Gustafson's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key save that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. St. Louis has looked good offensively tonight, putting a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Goudreau's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Minnesota's across the blue line. Sends the pass in front. Couldn't complete the pass. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Tarachenko's playing with such confidence right now and he's got this point streak going. And when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Sends it over to Krug. And now it's taken. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Play well, continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Long pass up ahead to center. St. Louis on the attack. Can't get it to go. Great reflex on display right on his part. Puck picked up by Kaprizov. Takes the puck. Drills him. Here's a short pass to Kaprizov. In the final moments of this period, St. Louis leads it. 2-1. Rossi's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Taken by Rossi. Dishes it to Middleton. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Fans screaming for a shot as the clock winds down. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. One to go. Third period. They're ready to drop the puck. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Minnesota's had a strong 40 minutes of play, and they dominated possession time, James, but they have to find a way to get up on the board and get the equalizer here. I expect them to have some urgency to activate their D and try and really look to attack off the rush. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 
St. Louis is in the driver's seat. They lead it 2-1 in what has been a very spirited affair. And now it's grabbed by Pareko. And it's a quick pass to Shen. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. St. Louis leads it early in this third period. They have been active in the offensive zone all night. Takes possession off the draw. Nice zone entry from the middle. Good stop by Bennington. The Blues have it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Thunderous collision along the boards. Fires it. Oh, what a stop with the club by Bennington. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because of the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hayes. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And a solid save there as we play on. Fires it on net. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Well, goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. And this time, he bails his team out. Lots of time left in this period. It's a 2-1 game. Minnesota's won the draw and they'll go to work. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Oh, what a stop! The Blues gain possession. Moves it to Sunfist. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Sunfist. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We've got a 2-1 game. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. St. Louis looks to attack. And there's the save. Quick pass to Erickson Eck. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. St. Louis is leading in this game because they have a third line that is firing on all cylinders, not just from a defensive structured standpoint, but they're finding a way to contribute offensively. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kaprizov. The Blues take over on possession. Gaining momentum along the wing. Shot! Comes up with a stop. Grabs the puck. Here's a short pass to Middleton. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And the puck's knocked loose. And he's knocked off the puck there. Oh, he'll feel that one. Kaprizov's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's a shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it. Keeps it out of the net. It's a low scoring affair out there and not for the lack of... Oh, a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Moves it quickly over to Shen. Look out, here they come on the attack. Oh, he saved him. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Well, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. Moves to Hayes. Lays out to block it. From point blank. Denies him in close. Oh, scores! And they're cooking now. Uh, the opponent has no answer for 
for them right now because they're relentless on the puck. They garnered some momentum after multiple back-to-back -back goals, James. They don't want to leave any breathing room and let their opponent get some life back. The Blues have to be feeling good about the position they're in down the stretch now, Cheryl. I'd take a two-goal lead at the back half of the third period any day of the week, James. It's just about closing it out now, and that comes down to managing the puck and limiting any turnovers. What a collision there, and that frees up a little room. And that's knocked away by Spurgeon. St. Louis has possession of the puck. looks to break out in their own end. Quick feed to Kapanen. There's another hit on the play. He's gonna feel terrible tomorrow, James. Over and over again, he's been caught. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Reaches out and uses a stick. Quick pass to Kairou. And then ricochets off a twing in front. Here's a short pass to Scandella. But this time of the game, you know the coach is in your ear. You gotta find a way to make a good puck decision. Get it in deep. Don't give up anything offensively. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Now a quick pass to Duhame. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Throws it in. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Takes a shot. Blocker saving a good one by Gustafson. Great pressure on the offensive end by True. Gustafson's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night, and he recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Late goings of this period. The Blues have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Blues gain control of the puck. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Blues have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Thomas wins the faceoff in the offensive zone. Into the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. During the final 60 seconds in this one. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Kaprizov's moving it ahead. Here's a beat in front. And it's blocked. Moves it to Eriksson. Oh, what a save in front. Finnington's in the right spot at the right time. Just a brilliant save. Thomas gains the zone. Puck dumped in. Minnesota's got the puck. Pass to Zuccarello. Quick feed to Kaprizov. Take it, take the shot. Here's a shot, and it hangs on just as time runs out. They've got the extra attacker out here for the faceoff. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. And with the victory, they now extend the series to a 3-1 lead. They can taste elimination next. Well, yeah, they can taste it coming off of that last victory. I mean, they have put their opponent on their heels, no question about it, where they had an opportunity to claw their way back into the series. Instead, they have a huge, distinct advantage right now, and that's what they got to do. They've just got to take advantage of what they've got and finish it off. Well, what a night of hockey, and the intensity will only continue to ramp up at the next playoff game, and we will see you all then here at EA Sports.